Hey everyone, Farrell here with a simple as possible breakdown of how and why certain rares behave the way that they do. I'm going to cover pretty much all of the rare spawns that drop mounts because that's all I really care about. So sorry hunter pets. Uh, <laughs> also sorry for the lack of videos lately. Other than being like a thought on epal.gg, I've been pretty unproductive this month but have been putting a lot of hours on alpha testing these mostly confirmed theories. Um, when I got to them they were mostly confirmed. Uh, just so you guys know I'm not like a pioneer and finding out how these zones got broken. Um, I'm just making this uh, information very available so you guys can do what you will with it. The reason I'm doing this video before going over the stuff that I've discovered in Alpha or before doing the Long Forgotten Hippogriff Guide is because they all tie together. The zones that I'm going to be talking about in this video are still broken in Alpha and covering the shard issue in a single rare spawn video would be kind of like unproductive because I'm going to want to link this video to people that are farming time lost and all that stuff so linking them like a long forgotten hippogriff video would be kind of weird. This information wouldn't be possible without Alley Cat and Cormex and other folks in the mount sharing community that put a lot of time into discovering this stuff. So back when I started farming these rare spawns, it was pretty well known that they operated within the realm's uptime. That being at weekly reset, when Blizzard shuts down the realms for maintenance, rare spawns all have their timers reset. The timer begins again once the realm comes back online and players can log in. Me and many other players took advantage of this and had timers on multiple roleplay realms and farmed time lost Proto Drake with very little competition thanks to the lack of cross realm zoning or sharding that exists on these roleplay realms. Roleplay realms exist in their own realm with the occasional connection to one or two other realms. Compare this to any normal realm that has dozens of connections, like Ticondrius to literally like every West Coast server, then it was pretty easy to see how I could find so many time lost Proto Drakes in my old videos. Which brings me to my point, and also the title of the video, Where is Time Lost? Because I definitely haven't had a Time Lost video in a long time. And as far as we know, something in 8.1.5 broke how certain zones behave and still impacts these zones on Alpha. Which I've been wasting an insane amount of time in, by the way. <laughs> Most respawns across the board have a timer of 2-8 to eight hours. This includes Anax, Time Lost, Mysterious Camel Figurine, Draenor Rares, you get my drift. It started to be quite clear that Time Lost and Viragosa weren't spawning as much as they used to once 8.1.5 dropped. It also started to become very clear that Void Talon was pretty hard to find outside of Shadowmoon Valley. This was observed almost exclusively on Roleplay Realms because of how empty the zones were, which was kind of bizarre. If you leave one of these broken zones, like Storm Peaks, for 15 minutes on a realm and no player comes into the zone after you, your shard is killed. Poof. Bye bye timer. The next time you zone in, whether it be logging into the zone or flying in, you'll be met with heavy loading. Keep your eyes on the mobs around you as you zone in, because the fresh zones that have just reloaded, the mobs will take a while to appear. And if you log in inside of a zone that has just reset, or rather, there is no current active shard, then you'll be met with a very, very long loading screen, and trust me, you'll definitely notice it, especially if you have an SSD and you usually have very short loading screens. This means that on pretty much every dead realm, unless there is an active camper, there isn't actually a time lost or Viragosa that's possible to spawn. The same change was noticed in pretty much every Draenor zone except for Shadow Moon Valley. Other notable zones in, uh, that have rare spawns that drop mounts attached to them is the New Dark Shore in Battle for Azeroth, um, and Azuna, which has the Long Forgotten Hippogriff, and uh, the Timeless Isle, which has Hulan. Who knows why Blizzard decided to implement this in some zones but not others, but thankfully notable rares like Poseidus and Vashir, uh, Anax and Deepholm, and the Mysterious Camel Figurine in Uldum are not impacted by this and behave normally. Uh, for a couple of rares, it actually is a beneficial thing. For the Frightened Kodo and Hulon, for example, uh, they are both up at reset. Um, and so that means a Hulon can be killed every 15 minutes, which is better than waiting, what is it, 45 to an hour and 30? That's not fun. And uh, with the Kodo, you can just fly in there at 2 in the morning and catch a fresh reset zone and catch a fresh reset Kodo. So long story short, if you want to get the long forgotten hippogriff, if you want to get the time lost proto drake, you must camp these zones. Which sucks, because they both have a minimum of 2 hours to spawn, and it can be anywhere from 2 to 8 hours. And with time lost, uh, you know, you could be there for 2 to 8 hours and get Viragosa. 
And I'm sure all these people that got time lost, like, all the way back in Wrath of the Lich King are shaking their canes at me, going, Oh, you don't know anything about camping. I camped for six years and I didn't get time lost. I know, I hear you guys. I'm just saying I had it easier back in my day, so... I'm explaining that this change is just making me sad, because I haven't seen a time lost Proto Drake in a long time. But in any case, um... I hope this information helps people that are farming for things, and if you're a farming Void Talon, just farm Shadow Moon Valley. Just screw the other zones, unless you're on a very, very high pop realm. 